He recently sparked controversy after making a Holocaust joke during his Netflix special His Dark Material. But Jimmy Carr appeared to be in good spirits as he enjoyed an evening out at Chiltern Firehouse in Marylebone, London, on Thursday evening. The comedian, 49, cut a smart figure in a moss green suit jacket, which he paired with navy trousers and a white collared shirt. He completed his dapper ensemble with a pair of brown loafers as he arrived at the luxury hotel and restaurant. The presenter styled his short brunette locks in a slicked back fashion as he flashed a huge grin during the jovial outing. His rare public appearance comes after he caused controversy after joking that the thousands of gypsies killed by the Nazis was a positive effect of the Holocaust on his Netflix special. Channel 4 backed him after the joke as they announced Hellfront another series of his game show I Literally Just Told You. The broadcaster confirmed the star will host another eight episodes of the series, which first aired last year, despite calls for him to be cancelled in the wake of his controversial gaffe. In an interview with Broadcast Magazine, Channel 4 Chief Ian Katz backed Jimmy's controversial humor, saying, I defend the rights of comedians to make offensive jokes and if they can't, then comedy is dead. Jimmy isn't his pals Danny views at odds with C4 values and just as we as a broadcaster exist to serve and represent a wide range of communities, we should always be home to the widest range of voices. In a widely shared clip from his Netflix show, Jimmy joked about the horror of the Holocaust and six million Jewish lives being lost. As a punchline, he then made a disparaging remark about the deaths of thousands of gypsies at the hands of the Nazis. But they never mentioned the thousands of gypsies that were killed by the Nazis. No one ever wants to talk about that, because no one ever wants to talk about the positives, Carr quipped to a laughing audience. The joke caused widespread backlash and prompted a debate about racism and free speech. Jimmy left the joke out of his live comedy show in Cambridge after the council said it would light up the venue in the colors of the Romani flag. His management was said to have assured Cambridge City councillors that no material from the show will feature at the gig at the Corn Exchange. Catherine Ryan has defended Jimmy, exclusively telling Mail Online that she felt the joke had been taken out of context and that showing just a small snippet of the stand-up gig was designed to be hurtful. Earlier this month, Catherine defended the roast style of comedy, stating at the National Comedy Awards, that is a genre of comedy that he happens to be best at. I think it is important that we all protect that genre even if people get offended by it. Doubling down on her remarks, Catherine told Mail Online, I just think that sometimes with social media there is a trend of taking something in one context and isolating parts of it that are going to make people angry by publishing that one bit and it could probably feel like an ambush if you're just surfing social media and you're not the kind of person who is into that genre of comedy because what Jimmy does is very specific to that genre and it's understood by the people who love it. But if you take anything he says, any of his jokes and write them down and show them to people who aren't expecting that type of comedy, it's out of context. But Jewish comedian David Badil, 57, was among swaths of other people to slam Jimmy over the gag. David said, you can obviously tell a Holocaust joke that is cruel and inhumane and mean-spirited and racist. Or you can tell one that targets the oppressors, or draws attention to the fundamental evil of it, or shines and light on the humanity of the victims. It's not the subject matter of the joke that counts, it's the specifics of the individual joke. Clearly, Jimmy Cars was the former.
Conservative MP and Culture Secretary Nadine Dorries told BBC News that the gag was apparent while Prime Minister Boris Johnson even commented on the unacceptable remarks.